So if Trump doesn't run in 2024, is there anyone else you see yourself supporting? No, definitely not. Trump all the way, 100%, confident. Who would you see as another good one? Uh, Florida governor. Of course there's DeSantis. I would support DeSantis. Uh, I like Candace Owens and probably Ron DeSantis too. Number one thing I like about DeSantis is that he believes in freedom for America. Because it's what he's done in Florida. He never, he never shut things down. I mean, you don't have to go down there and worry about a dang thing. Here I stand. I'm not backing down. I love it. I love it. I love the policies, the substance, and I love the style. Let's face it, though, he's borrowing heavily from Donald Trump style and agenda and policies. And that's fine. That's totally fine. Um, but I'm hearing from more and more Republicans. Well, you know, Donald Trump, he has all that baggage and uh, it's time for a fresh face. Don't fall for that argument. He's got, well, an incredible resume. He went to the right schools. He served in the Navy. Now, he got to Congress back in 2012. I'm not that crazy about this part because that makes him arguably a career politician. They're trying to make us tired of Trump. Oh, here we go again. It's been going on for so long, right? First, it was Russia, 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 all that nonsense. Then there was the first phony impeachment. Rob Mueller, huh? Remember that scam? Uh, the first phony impeachment. Then the second phony impeachment. And now all this nonstop talk about January 6th. They're trying to make us tired of him and move on. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard O'Jenna here. And folks, sit back. We've got to dissect this story for a minute because there are layers of stupidity here. It's Newsmax, after all, so it's by proxy. But this one is a case study, true to Republican form through and through. So first off, we have this idiot host doing everything he can to protect the golden cow. Remember, when it comes to Republicans, everything is based solely on profit. A Republican makes a friend because there is something to be gained fiscally in that relationship. If that ever changes, goodbye friendship, hello quarterly gains. I want him to be president someday. I think that's almost guaranteed to happen, but I'd rather not see him run in 2024. Here's the thing, uh, that makes him, what, three decades younger than President Trump? I'm not saying that's a good thing. I'm saying he's got plenty of time ahead of him to make his move, but not now. Right now, their wallets dictate to them that they should follow their dictator, Donald Trump. And all Trump's enemies are their enemies, even their old former pal, DeSantis. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world in Republican politics. Every Republican is just a backstab waiting to happen. They're all rungs on the oppression ladder. And the funny thing is, not a one of them wants to eliminate oppression. They simply want to become the oppressors. And thus, it's just a hierarchy of feudal lords, one subservient to the other until they can cheat, steal, bribe, or extort their way to the top. I think they think they can take DeSantis, not Trump, and that's why they keep up with these hearings after hearings. Now, Ron DeSantis is a brilliant guy. Obviously, he has studied President Trump very, very carefully. You can kind of see it in this picture in Mar-a-Lago. Everyone knows my husband, Ron DeSantis, is endorsed by President Trump, but he's also an amazing dad. Ron loves playing with the kids. Build the wall. He reads stories. Then Mr. Trump said, you're fired. I love that part. He's teaching Madison to talk. Make America great again. Next, we have to use the idiot right-wing rhetoric. Career politician is the latest cute little idiom they want to press into the minds of those on the bottom rung of the societal ladder, the moron Republican voters. And think for a second, and I know it's a tall ask for the MAGA morons, but what sort of thing would denote evil in a so-called career politician? Non-stop campaigning, manipulating government for their own personal gain over the good of the people, lies, corruption, fraud, all of the things Donald Trump has done 20-fold over any politician in history. And yet the rhetoric used to paint opponents of their fascist leader is career politician. All of a sudden, DeSantis is a career politician, and once you know it, a few months ago, before any 2024 run was alluded to, he was the patron saint of their twisted cult. Funny how the mighty have fallen so quick, but that's life within the crime family structure. And if Trump is convicted like we all know he should, and he is removed from the candidacy, 
Fantasy? Just watch Newsmax fall on their knees before DeSantis as the savior of their little empire. And it's not that Newsmax doesn't know these very facts. Of course they do. They're Republicans. Their loyalties are all circumstantial other than their one true unwavering loyalty, their personal financial portfolio. That's the one thing that matters to a Republican. That's why they gave their party away to an utter imbecile. That's why they are throwing their democracy away. It's why they spit on our Constitution. And it's why they themselves are the very thing the lowly pawns who vote for them claim to hate, dirty politicians. The Republican Party platform is the platform of dirty politics. Every last one of them is a career politician. These people didn't run hardware stores or auto shops. They sat in Corinthian leather recliners and hired lawyers to net them tax evasions, evade oversight, get off with their white collar crimes, jip workers, and pad their personal gains off the backs of people who actually did the work for them so that they could get where they are. That's the very reason they want to get into politics. They just want to step their criminality up to the next level where they can make their extortion and corruption legal. What's sick is all of this works. Corruption is deep in our politics because there's a portion of our population that is too lazy to care and a bunch of others who are too dumb enough and they fall for everything. That's why those of us who know better must get in the game and start doing better. We've got to move towards a politics of transparency, the thing in which Republicans are deathly afraid of. They can never have someone pull the curtain off of their little crime empire to reveal their emperor has no clothes because Donald Trump is the most corrupt vile, two-timing snake of a dirty politician this country has ever seen. But Newsmax must keep up the con and convince all of the little pea brains out there that he is their knight in shining orange armor. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.